Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> I see you. Um, as you can tell from the thumbnail and from the title down below, I'm just going to be giving you a little bit of a healthy living eating update. But at the same time, I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite recipe books. So um, I'm going to keep it to three. I've got about 10 because life fun and amatize but i'm gonna keep it to three because then we'd be here all day and i i love my recipe books but um yeah i'm just not prepared to be talking about my recipe books the whole day okay um so for the most part um the healthy living eating update hmm, it's been going really really well for the most part i love it I have kept to what I am, uh, to the decisions that I've chosen in my life in terms of what I eat and how I eat and when I eat because of intermittent fasting and all of that. I have tried to maintain all of that um, and I'm, I'm still there. The only thing is I am not as strict on myself and on what I put into my body. The only thing that I do not put into my body is sugar i will have sugar like i'll have a muffin every now and again and whatever that does have sugar i can't avoid that um or if i'm out i'll have a, a cake or whatever um i do st still drink alcohol i don't drink it as often as i used to before i took the healthy uh living journey so you know and even the things that i eat um I don't eat white pastas and white rices. I still keep to the, um, uh, what's this, the, the whole wheat stuff. I do. Um, so for the most part, generally, generally, um, let's say before I was like 95% healthy now i'm maybe about 85 percent i'm not as strict on myself because i just i just don't um see why i should be so for uh for the most part and i've incorporated gym into my life as well so even on the days where i know i eat badly and whatever i know that i'm going to be going to gym that day so it's fine i'm gonna work it off you know it's okay it's fine it's not a big deal and yeah it's my weight has still stabilized i've it's 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 i've actually lost just under a kilogram as well so no no about a kilogram but it it yo-yos quite a lot now so it's not a big deal it's not a chain smash i still love it whatever um for the most part i just my whole focus is to mostly eat healthy and uh train and tone up my body a little bit and that that works so in the healthy eating sphere this is where my recipe books come in very very handy because i love my recipe books i, love them. I change them up a notch uh maybe about once every two weeks um uh, and put the the recipe book on display in my kitchen um for the most part i love healthy eating recipe books i do not aspire to pick up um very hearty and very rich in just blah 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 kind of recipe books i try to go the healthy route and i've got three here that i love and i go back to all the time one of them is not as healthy because this was a recipe book that i picked up purely because i love the restaurant and this I'm sorry for the exposure, but this, it's written Tasha's right there. So if you're South African, you know about Tasha's. You know that there's a restaurant called Tasha's. When I saw this recipe book, I died because I love Tasha's and I love the food. And you know, they've got some very hearty meals, but at the same time, they've got really great salads and they've got really great breakfasts and things like that. So for me, definitely had to pick up the Tasha's uh, book. Um, I'll do some cutaways of some of my favorite um, meals uh, from the Tasha's um, book. But for the most part, for me, I tend to really, really like the breakfasts that are in this book because that's normally what I eat when I'm at Tasha's. Um, of course, there's, they've got the burgers, they've got the pastas, they've got uh, great breakfasts. The other day I had this one, which is the, they call this one, the millionaire's breakfast it's got a bit of caviar in there <laughs> and it's got some of my favorite the other day i did this one which is a 
pulled lamb pasta. Wow, this is proving to be very tricky. Doesn't it look good? Yes, yes, girl, yes. It's got pretty much everything that you can find on the Tasha's menu. It's a really, really, really nice recipe book with about um, about 220, 230 pages. So it's quite a few recipes. Breakfast ones, lunch ones, really, really great. Great recipe book, this one. And then the one that I picked up after that if you are familiar with me, you will know that I love bowls and I love eating my food from bowls. I do not like eating my food from full on, like a big plate. Um, I don't know. I just feel food is more comforting in bowls. So I picked this one up. This is whole bowl food for balance. And of course it's on the healthier side. And this is from uh, Melissa Delport. And I picked this up from at home. They actually had it right next to the till. And I saw it, I'm like, oh my God, a whole entire recipe book about bowls, food you can make from bowls, which is pretty dope. So I picked it up. Um, uh, of course they have breakfast foods from bowls. So they've got granola, they've got a chia seed pudding uh, bowl. They've got, oh my God, like an acai bowl. Look at that. Oh my God. It's so beautiful. They've got an acai bowl. They've got a salad bowl, of course. They've got autumn salads, summer salads. They've got um, soups because soups come in bowls. This is a roasted red soup right here. The pictures for me are just, the pages are quite glossy, which is nice. Um, the pictures really, really pulled me to this um, uh, recipe book. They've got pasta, you know because pasta is also, you can have pasta in a bowl, so that's also quite nice. Um, they've got the Spaniard, which is one that I did cook um, quite a while back, just after I picked it up. It's just, I mean, I mean, are you dying? Good food. And the last one that I'm gonna show you is from Sir Jamie Oliver. We love him, we love him, yay! Uh, we know Jamie Oliver tends to make very, uh, comfort foods, you know, pastas and whatever and blah, blah, blah. But Jamie Oliver has nailed making food quickly. And his recipe books, you've got the 15 minute what what and then this, the 15 minute recipe, 15 minute meals, meals to cook in 15 minutes. You've got something like that. But this one was my favorite one because I, my mom has the meals to cook in 15 minutes and my sister I think has that. But this one was one that I gravitated to. This is the five ingredients recipe book. So all you need for each of these meals, which are all at the back here. I mean, really, you prepare them quite quickly. Um, uh, the other day I had this one. This is the sweet potato salad. That's pretty much what it looks like. I had this one the other day, it was exceptional, delicious. It had rocket salad, a little bit of feta cheese. Oh, hello. And it's got some breakfast options as well, some pastries, uh, a scrambled egg, omelet. I mean, really, they just, they just, they just do the most. They just do the most. Look at me like trying to peek in <laughs> because I want to make sure that you guys can see it. But um, I love this one because it's got the five ingredients that you need on the side there and of course um, then the instructions and the method as to how you can cook the meals and blah 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 and it's got subdivisions of course within it and um, this one says chicken right there um, and then all the meals that follow from there are chicken meals and some one says veg and um, another says uh, beef you know so it's quite a few I mean the one that I really, really want to try, I love mussels. This are the creamy Cornish mussels. And all you need are mussels, garlic, chives, uh, Cornish cider, and clotted cream. And honestly, really, that's all you need. So it's great because you can prep um, what you need to go get at the store over a weekend and pick it up and then cook them. I always have seafood in my fridge because I like to cook seafood at home. So yeah. And then you have the more uh, hearty meals. These are the messy meatball buns. Of course, as you can see, uh, they are the buns over there. Meatball, quite messy, yes. Not typically something that I would go out of my way to cook. Pan-seared lamb, oh my gosh, sticky lamb chops. I mean, look, look, 
look look at that what i love about this is these are things that you can find at the store like it's it's not hard you don't have to go to a farmer's market to find it or whatever you can just go to the store and find them so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this recipe video let me know and i'll definitely do another one for you until then i'll see you very very soon